first off, how was the how, how's the dinner last night? Actually, it was nice. Uh, everything went really smooth. Uh, there was a couple of sentimental moments. Uh, uh, there was uh, the 50th anniversary of uh, the victory of Tommy Aaron. Um, what was it? The 25th anniversary of Marco Mira, and then Sandy Lyle. This is going to be his last uh, uh, Masters, and then Larry Mice is the same scenario. So Larry got uh, a little emotional. Uh, he had a hard time uh, trying to speak. Actually, <laughs> he didn't. But uh, it was a very uh, emotional dinner. Yes, it was nice. So, 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 so he got so emotional he couldn't get any. Correct. Out. Correct. Yeah. Wow. But how, um, what about Scotty? He uh, said that he might try a little bit. Did he? Well, he hold on pretty well. <laughs> yeah, he he managed okay. Yeah, uh, you could you could sense that uh, uh, he was struggling a bit, but uh, he got it through and uh, he did a good job. Yes. So I was talking to Faldo, and he said that he was sitting over kind of near Phil and, and Gary, and he said Phil talked more than Gary. That's that's hard to do, but is that right? Well, he was uh, on the far end of the table so I couldn't tell. <laughs> I was pretty much in the middle so he will he will have better information than me in that regard. How, how uh, impressed were you with Sergio last night? Obviously people have said some things and how, how do you feel he, he handled finally being, being in that room? Well I think he handled it okay, really well. Uh, you know we are all champions in that dinner. Um, you know we all know what this is all about. Uh, you know and the most important thing yesterday night uh, was uh, Scotty Scheffler's dinner. Uh, you know, we we paid we paid TV, tribute to him uh, and respect. And I think and Sergio handled it okay. I mean, he had a conversation with Freddie, and you know, they had uh, you know they they talked, they chat, uh, and it was as I said, it was really nice and, and smooth. I heard the tortilla soup was a little spicy. Oh, it was. Uh, he had a little bit of kick in it. <laughs> yeah, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think uh, all of us managed to finish it. <laughs> what, um, how's, how's, how's your game been these last few? Nah, years? it's been it's been uh, really off. I mean, I'm struggling with my game, and uh, uh, this is not a golf course uh, to bring your uh, B or C game. So uh, I'm going to struggle this week. But uh, it's part of life. It's part of golf, and uh, uh, it's just uh, you know an honor to be here, uh, being able to come here for for so many years. Uh, seeing the new players come in, uh, you know, new winners, uh, the Champions Dinner. So there is a lot of uh, special moments uh, during this week that I will always cherish. So you talked about Sandy and Larry. Yeah. You know, it's their last one. Yeah. Do you, do you have any kind of criteria or, you know, that you have to meet to know that, right, this is going to be my last one as well? Or, or do you just take it your by Well, uh, you know. When do you know, like, it's. When do you know? I mean. It's up to you. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's how much you want to walk the course, even if it's two days. Uh, you know, as as far as you are not um, a problem or an inconvenience to your playing partners, um, you know, I think that's fair. I mean, if you if you play, you know, uh, pretty speedy golf uh, and you don't interfere in what uh, you know the real players that have the chance to win the tournament have to do. I think you're okay. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it's just a, down to you know a certain score or result. Uh, it's more of a sense of, of feeling uh, that really uh, will make the decision. Uh, but as I said, I mean, look at Larry, look at Sandy. I mean, you know, they've you know, Sandy. What is it? 65, 66 uh, will be. So you don't have a, a specific. Uh, reason or 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 why uh, you stop playing. I think at the end of the day you realize that you know it's time and that's it. Chepa, beyond the playing, I mean, the members, the players, everybody are looking forward for you to come every year. Mm -hmm. can, can you help them? And they take them to the bunker and they ask you questions. But, but is that a good reason to come back every year? Well, you feel like uh, some sort of use. <laughs> You know, it's, it's always nice for the young kids to come up and, and ask questions and uh, what do you do here, what do you do there, how do you see this hole, uh, you know, and it's, you know, it's nice. I mean, it's interesting to, to have the, 
the younger generations uh, coming up to you and asking questions, trying to figure out uh, how to play certain shots or, or how to play uh, certain holes, depending on uh, where the pin position is. Almost. <laughs> so you and Sevi uh, have been uh, a big part of this. What you have in focus for the next World Cup? Well, I'm, I might be there. Uh, most probably, I will spend a couple of days over there. But you know, it's early days still. Uh, obviously, the the team has not been shaped up. Uh, you know, we do have obviously uh, a few players that pretty much are in the team already, but. Uh, Captain Luke uh, will have uh, six picks, and there is a lot of uh, decisions uh, to be made in that regard. Uh, we know the golf course, uh, how they will set the, up the golf course. Uh, well, it's, it's up to Luke. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he will do a good job at it. Uh, he, they know all the all the stats, all the information of of the players. I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, they will do a good job uh, preparing the golf course. And uh, well, it's, it's just a matter of uh, waiting a little bit longer and see how how the teams uh, shape up. How do you think? Uh, how do you see the, the balance? Uh, well, uh, at the moment, on paper, it might look like uh, you know the United States uh, uh, has a stronger team. But uh, at the end of the day, if if we manage to, uh, I think there is a, a group of players that if they manage to get in, uh, we made up. We may end up uh, having only like three rookies or so, and I think that will be a great combination. Uh, you know, it depends on on players like uh, Tommy, Fran, uh, you know, Shane. Uh, there is a couple of more there that, if they make the team, uh, on top of um, uh, Rory and John and uh, Hovland and so on, uh, at the end of the day, you might end up having you know eight good solid players. Eight, nine good solid players with a lot of experience, and then you will have to rely on, you know, the possible uh, rookies in the team. But uh, I've always said that uh, on the European side, most of the time the rookies have done a wonderful job. Uh, so, you know, I think we we will have a pretty good chance. Eduardo has brought uh, a good support to the Scots. And yeah, also. yeah. Eduardo is doing a great job. He he knows. Uh, uh, he knows his business, uh, and he can actually pinpoint uh, those little details that uh, can make the difference. That's why I said before that uh, when preparing, uh, you know, the golf course, uh, I think uh, having uh, knowledge of all those little things might help up. Thank you. All right.